Hey everybody, welcome back. It is December 14th and it was 51 degrees today in Minnesota. I cannot believe it. I'll tell you, we've gotten really lucky as far as winters go so far. It's uh, <laughs> We had more snow on Halloween than we've had pretty much all of November and the last couple weeks of December. Uh, there's a little bit of a dusting out there that came I don't know, a few days ago. Oh, when we brought the John Deere 60 home. Um, we got a little bit of a dusting that afternoon and then it's been melting ever since. So it's been a real light year for snowfall this year. The temperatures have been real light. We had, you know, about a week or so where it was in the single digits at night with wind chills below zero, but that didn't last long. So we've been really lucky and <laughs> I have a sneaky suspicion that January is going to slap us in the face but you never know hopefully it stays somewhat mild but we do need the snow we need the moisture for you know the lakes the rivers farming you know ground moisture everything we need we need that snowfall so anyhow enough of the weather report we uh just a real quick thing with the 27 john deere d I was over at Rudy's doing some work last night, and in my spare time after I finish the projects for Rudy, I work on cleaning up one or two pieces at a time. And this is the cam follower setup. I blasted the entire assembly. Everything's clean. The shaft looks good. The followers aren't terrible on the shaft. The shaft has no wear on it. So <clears throat> everything looks really good here. Uh, the spring looks great, so that's going to be a, an easy one to put back together. And um, we are, on a side note, we're going down to a friend of mine's on Saturday, and uh, we're going to do some filming down there, but I'm not going to get, whoa, hello, I'm over here. I'm not going to give you any clues as to what we're going to film, but I think you guys are really going to like it, so stay tuned for that. That'll be coming hopefully by the end of the weekend. I'll have that posted. But this video is primarily about the hats. I've been saying that I'm going to make this hat video for about a week now, a week and a half. And I've just, <laughs> the first run of hats that I did, which was about 30 hats, I've been so busy organizing the orders, getting everything packaged, and Rudy is nice enough to be shipping them for me from his... Uh, from his shop because he goes to the post office every day and I'm working between 60 and 100 hours a week. So between you know working at my primary job and overtime at the primary job and then working for Rudy and helping him out, trying to make a video at least once a week and then on top of that my number one duty is dad. So <laughs> I've been busy so I appreciate everybody that has bought a hat thus far and their patience in it. I just got another shipment of hats in from my coworker who is making them for me. So essentially what we do is we order the blanks and then my, my coworker has a, a laser cutting etching machine, if you will, and he makes the patches for me and then he has a hat press and he presses the patches onto the hats. But I wanted to show you guys six colors that I have right now. Two of them I'm sold out of because I only ordered a couple just to see how it would go. And on Facebook, they took off and they were gone. But uh, I've got them all laid out here. Obviously, the most popular hat we have, I call it the OG hat. It's like a drab green or an olive green and khaki rear. They're all trucker hats, mesh back, snap back hats. But they're very nice hats. Um... I've got some more over here of the color selection that we have. This is a charcoal and black mesh. This is like a, uh, it looks real similar to like a, a duck colored Carhartt jacket, kind of that dark khaki, if you will, and that's got a black mesh. This one here I've got for the Alice Chalmers and 
GI case guys. This is an orange front with a black mesh. And then of course we've got the red and black for the International and Farmall fellers. Green and yellow for the John Deere fellers. Blue and white for Ford fellers. And right now I'm working on a a hat to kind of go along with the Oliver colors and about the best one I could find for colors was uh, like a forest green and white. And I have one guy that's already interested in that, an Oliver collector. So um, that's what I'm offering. I, I didn't originally plan on offering these um, kind of neutral colors other than the olive green and khaki one that I originally this was the first hat we made, so I just wanted to test it out. And these ones have been selling like hotcakes, so I've got a bunch of these. I've got a small number of the tractor colors. I think I have three or four of each of these. Actually, I think I only have one left of the red and black. But um, if you guys are interested, the best way to express interest or get a hold of me is to email me at kenny.kizzle. No, oh, there's a shim here at yahoo.com and express to me which hat you'd like or if you have any um, suggestions, if you will, if you, if you don't see a hat here and you have some color combinations that you're interested in, let me know in the email. I can see what I can do and maybe we can make a hat specially for you but we're trying to stick to these standard colors because there's so many hat choices out there, hat, hat color combinations that if I start offering all these different ones, it really complicates things. So we're trying to stick with just the basics because number one, my coworker is nice enough to order the hats, make them for me and on, on all that. And then the other part of it is I, <laughs> It's hard for me to organize and keep everything straight when it comes to all of those different colors and all these different orders. So if I keep it simple and only offer so many colors, then it's just easier for everybody involved as far as the production of it, the shipping, keeping the order straight and everything. So yeah, it's, uh, I'm just, I'm too busy to be doing 25 different hat colors. I, I just, I wouldn't be able to keep up. And I don't think my coworker would be able to keep up either. So, cause he's, he's doing a business of his own with the hats. So this was just something he offered me out of the kindness of his heart because I expressed interest in having the hats made because there's been a lot of people that have asked me about merchandise and, you know, t-shirts and hats and things like that. And I'm not going to venture into the t-shirt part of this anytime soon because t-shirts are a whole different game you not only have to stock different colors, but you have to stock different sizes. So that's, that can be a whole different animal. Hats are easy. They're a one size fits all. And we have a, a selection of colors and it is what it is. So if you guys are interested in a hat, um, the way that the money is broke down, they're $30 for a hat. 15 of it goes to my coworker because they cost about seven to eight dollars to make so he pockets you know a seven or eight dollar amount for his time in building each hat because it does take time so he's he's cutting me a break by by charging me less and then the other fifteen dollars goes to everything for the projects i don't take any profit and put it in my my pocket so to speak everything from these hats goes into a separate bank account and that's the bank account that I use to pay for this stuff. So, and I mean, obviously I've, <laughs> I've been using overtime money and side job with Rudy and all that stuff. All that money has been going into this, but it's just another way to, to generate revenue. And it's a, it's a cool way for you guys to see where your purchase money is going. You know, it, it, it gets directly put back into the projects for the channel. So, you know, it's, it's the best way I can think of instead of offering up the membership side of the channel right now because I don't have the time to 
release videos consistently to open up the membership side. And I know that there are some people that say, well, we would join the membership side regardless, but I just, I don't feel that it's fair to you guys. So that's why I'm not opening up the membership side of the channel because I can't dedicate the time to release regular videos all the time. Not only that, you have to satisfy the membership side, but I also have to satisfy the regular subscriber side because I can't just keep uploading to the membership side, to the paying members, if that makes sense. You have to kind of find that balance. So you really need to do two to three videos a week in order to successfully support both sides of that channel. So the hats is the best way I can think of. So if you guys are interested in a hat, you want to support the channel, they're cool hats, Rusty Nuts Ranch Patch right on the front with a tractor. Um, they're durable, you know, they're good quality hats. They're actually the same brand of hat that I use for my duty, my uniforms. So um, anyhow, enough of me rambling. If you're interested, email me at kenny.kizzle at yahoo.com and uh, we'll get you a hat, all right? Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for supporting me, as always. And uh, happy holidays. So stay tuned for that video coming this weekend. It's going to be a good one. You're going to like it.